Ow. No, dude. That's dead. That's dead. Not good, not good. Ignition leads. Terminals need cleaning. This isn't doing anything. Do you think we're doing the right thing with this car, dude? <laughs> You're asking me. Do you think we're just wasting I think, our time? I think, personally, I think this would be an amazing achievement if it if it works. What about if it doesn't? Well, I, I don't look at it in a yes or no way. I look at it in percentage way of what you've done to it um, to improve it. And I think percentage wise, I'm going to give it an 85 percent chance of starting, dude. This cap, it's got a broken terminal. Now, I don't know if that means it's not going to work, but the metal here is, is um, it's cracked. So that's not a good thing. But we'll give it a crack. So 85% I'm giving it to start. You're giving it 85%? Yeah. I could just be totally over the board and say, yeah, of course it's going to stop. But there's always doubt, isn't there? So whether it's a good thing, I think it's a good thing. So I'm quite confident with the mechanics of the engine. Yeah, everything's free. The carburetor I'm pretty confident with, but yeah. this ignition system, I don't have to do it. That's what I'm... Uh, right. Okay, so let's go and put it on. Let me just dry it a bit. Oh, it looks as good as new, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks beautiful. <laughs> so, is that the right way? I don't know. Let's try it that way. Oh, it's not going to go in with that there, is it? Is that... Nah, I think it's, yes, that's right. Okay. There we go, so that's there. So that was number one. Correct. So... One, three, four, two. I think so. Where's that thing on your phone? One, one three, three, four, four two. two. Correct. So that's one. Okay, that's one. And that's one there. That's one. This will be two. so one, three, four, two. Yeah. So that's number two. Okay. That's number two. These are good boots, man. These rubber things are called boots. Is they a tight fit? Yeah, they're a, they're a good good quality. So much so that they're not really going over the freaking plug. Three. Oh, wrong way. So that's three. <laughs> no, it's struggling to go in, isn't it? Is that good now? I think that's gone in. Feels a bit odd.
Looks pretty tight here. Eh? Oh. So what's three? Is it raining? It's starting to spit, dude. Ah. And then number four. Number three. Thanks. Oh, that went in nice. Right, okie dokie. I can go there. I think. Oh no, they need to they need to be separated, don't they? Because otherwise they And here we've got our um extremely long. I need to clean the terminal of the ignition. So that one's alright. And then we want another one here. What do, what do they do? Space out the leads? Yeah, you need to space out the leads apparently, because otherwise they... Um, oh, is it for heat? I, no, I think they interfere, the, the signals or the oh, spark. Right, okay. I think that's what the idea is. That's not the right place, is it? Um, put it here like that. But what about here? This is a bit of a mess, isn't it? So that... Maybe I did it the wrong way around. So dude, number one is there. Okay. And then this one is number two. So one, three, four, two, yeah? Yep. Three, four, two. This one is number four. One, three, four. Okay, that's gone in. And that one is number three. Mm. That's the difficult one, isn't it? There we go, I think. Okay. Okay. So that one can go like that. That one can go there, and that one can go there. Double one here. Yeah, and then a number two for two one. That's it. Yeah, I like it. Looks great. Yeah. Does this spin? No, this does, but not that. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, no, that doesn't spin, dude. It's oh, just that's this. okay. Yeah. What is that? That. What, what's what? That's the ignition coil. Ignition coil. Yeah. Okay. It works. <coughs> okay. Awesome. And now we're going to connect our. Ignition coil. coil. Yeah, ignition coil lead. That's made a nice. That's nice. Okay. Into. And that goes into the centre yeah, of the distributor. It's cap. rather long though, isn't it? He made this a little freaking long. How do you do that then, dude? It's good. Yeah, it looks crap though. Well, in the we can figure that out. And in the future. Wow, that wind's picking up. Yeah. This is the third time we're fueling the car. Maybe even fourth. Yeah. Shall I put all ten litres in? Oh, 
I think that'll do, dude. Alright. Do you know what? We might as well ask Foxy Man how to connect the electrics. Let me, let me talk to Foxy Man. Hi! How you doing? Just wanted to pick your brains, man. I've put this engine back together again and I've connected the, the leads up and everything and the the one here. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but how do I get the energy to the coil and then the distributor? Yeah. So, uh, going back to testing the coil, I've got the battery connected from there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's working, man. Good. It's directly connected to the starter motor. I think so, mate. Yeah. And to run the starter motor without the key we need to use that screwdriver trick yeah but i don't know if that sets the engine i don't know if that energizes the the coil see i don't know how to set the coil let's we'll see if this does anything Man. That turns well as well. well this wasn't probably no I, I know I know dude it's not gonna start now man is it? I doubt it's gonna start. Dude that that just it wanted to go man. Yeah. <laughs> it turns doesn't it? It turned very well. There we go. Oh shit dude, can you what get was that? that? That's that that um separator. Um, should we check for spark? Yeah? Yeah. Um, did you cut it off, yeah? You have got to connect this. Oh yeah, well done. <coughs> we have. So, that's ignition on, I guess. Yeah. Don't get fucking funny with me, alright, mate. Shall yep. we do the fuel? Let's do the fuel. That's coming out, mate. Perfect. Do the rest by hand. Cathode doesn't. You feel it click. Have you felt it click in? I didn't hear any click in myself. Ah, no, <laughs> right, yeah. Heard that. Some of the. Uh, oh, the rust. <laughs> Can we put the rust back on please? Yeah. Yeah, we should see a spot there. Okay. So we've connected the, the batteries on. That's yep. on. Yep. So let's have a, a crack. Oh, where's the screwdriver? There you go. Cheers, dude. Touch it. Touch it. I saw it. Good. Disconnect those blue cables, dude. Yeah. Was it? What, did the spark look all right? It was a little spark, but it yeah. was a spark. Yeah. Put the spark plug back in again. Don't you dare rain now. Uh, 
to, we need to lower the car, don't we? Spotting. Don't worry, dude. Put the plug back in. I knew this was going to happen right when it was the point where we needed to do it. Something was going to stop it. Which good wipers are on there? That's funny, it's not shut. Don't though. worry, man. Don't shut it because then we can't bring in. Oh, yeah, but well, that's where the battery is. Don't there. worry, man. It's all very exciting. Look how excited his face is. <laughs> now the rain decided to come. Yeah, right when we were about to. We're just about to freaking make fire. When we didn't work. need rain. Coffee. Well, we have a nice little coffee. Look at the front on that one. So hopefully, we're going to get this engine started. I can't wait. In fact, I'm going to rephrase that. We're about to get this engine we're started, about guys. To start. <laughs> this engine is about to start. going to check to see the oil now the car's flat on the ground make sure we dry anything that's got a bit of rain on it yeah so yeah yeah the oil's sort of close to the minimum but it's fine so that's there ignition is on the ignition coil to the distributor cap all spark plugs are in. Yeah, we got oil in the engine. Yep. Carburetor. Did is you want to put some fuel in the carb? Did you? Yes, say? yes. The carburetor's uh, well sealed. It's sealed. So we've got air's only going in through there. Uh, how do you? That's how you operate the throttle. So you chuck some fuel in there. We've primed the pump, uh, but there's still, from the pump to the carburetor, still to go. And we've only got a little bit of juice in the battery. We've tried this spark. We are getting a spark. It's a weak spark, but we're getting a spark. The engine is timed, as far as we know. The ignition is roughly in the right place. So we need spark, fuel and air, and compression. So we've got compression, as far yeah. as we know. Well, we don't hopefully, know, hopefully. So, we're going to connect these two cables and then we're going to crank her over. No, we're going to put fuel in. Then we're going to connect these two cables. We're going to connect the battery negative to the battery. And then we're going to uh, hot wire it. And I'm going to, yeah. Well, you can operate the throttle. And you can operate the start motor. Yeah. All right. And now we go. Let's connect this. All right. Hang on a minute. Connect that to there. Okay. Dude, yeah. if I say you use the choke, yeah. you need to just do that. That will help the engine start. Yeah. If it, if it starts if it starts, yeah. then you can let go of that and then operate the throttle. Okay. And that so will help it start. Well, we need it closed to start the engine, yeah. All right. Yeah, we've got, we've got a bit of a... Uh, we got electric. Yeah. Dude. Need to put a bit of fuel in. That's the bit, man. Oh shit, that's, that's low. That'll do. It's uh, running out the bottom, dude. Is it? Oh shit, I forgot the vacuum hose, dude. There, that's it, it's there, yeah. Okay. Right, let's we try that now. Can you try just to put a little bit more fuel in? Because all the fuel that went in came out. Okay. Because I'm still trying to figure out where it came out from. Right. Okay. So I want to shut the choke. Yeah. Okay, we've got fuel in the in the pipe. Okay, we got fuel in the The timing's out. Yeah, the timing's out. It's alright. It's okay. 
<laughs> it's close. <laughs> Did you see that puff thing? It nearly blew my eyebrow. I can't see, dude. Yeah. Light. Torch. Torch. Dude, can you undo these wires? No. You need to take it off the electric, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'll take it off. Alright, uh, no, not the button, that's it, that's it. Okay. Okay. I'll shut the choke. Yeah. No, yeah, wherever you want, Mum. Uh, that's not gonna work. right next to the exhaust pipe. Not a good idea. Put some more fuel in it, dude. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. What? Sorry, what? Surely I'm not... The oh, I am. Go, let go, let go.
Go, 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 go. There's some fizzing going on there. There's rather yeah, there's, fierce flames. There's really. something. There's some, something coming out here. Man, give us a speech. Spot on, man. Oh man, I'm, I'm getting Spain. all emotional. Getting all emotional dude. <laughs> will it run? Yes, yes. it will. <laughs> yeah, got. Uh, oh, what's these? Yeah. These are a pair of Weber DCOEs. So. Oh, let me know what you want to put on. We could put these on. Yeah. All right. We need to fix that. Um, that leak. manifold, yeah. Well, the, yeah, I don't know what that leak is. I mean, that that could be dodgy. So those could go on, or we've got, we've got this manifold, right, which is for the same engine, but it will take a two-barrel carburetor. Ah. All right, so it's, this will fit that engine, and it will allow us to fit something like... Look at you, dude, you're shaking, dude. My hands are shaking. Look at you, I can see the sweat on you. What did you think? Did you enjoy it? What that? did I think? Yeah. I thought it was epic, dude. Not this one. I thought the world was going to stop spinning for a second. It was just—it's loud, isn't it? Wow. How long have we—how long have we been here working on it today? I'd say we put about six hours. You can put one of these on it. Right, that's a twin shot. Well, that's only a 32, 34 DMTL. Yeah. Anyway, th this will offer more in the sense of, well, induction yeah. than that little carburetor that we're using now. Yeah. We could put something like this one on, right? That's the two, that's the 36, 36, I believe, yeah. So this is a big, a much bigger carburetor. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got two inlets on there. You've got you? two, yeah, double. Yeah. Manifold. Onto here, potentially. Like that. So we'll have a, a twin choke. These are lovely. And we can recondition those. They're going to need a bit, of, uh, bit of work. a little bit of TLC, but the main concern that we've got now is why we're getting that uh, fizzing coming out of that hole, yeah, which is a bit unusual. Let's, let's zoom in on that, it's right there. Well, dude, look, there's oil up here, right? Okay, so that suggests it could be oil from up here, but then Falling why? why but why was it coming out of that hole? Oh shit, do you know what dude? What? That's the faulty hull, right? Yeah. That's the one that we couldn't put a stud in. So maybe this dude, I mean just maybe, drilled all the way in and opened up a fucking can of worms. Oh no. Do you know, do you know what Drill I mean? through to where the oil was. Potentially, went. like, yeah. Well, we're going to have to inspect that shit. <sighs> what can we do about that? I mean, once the bolt's in, once the stud's in, that will stop it coming out, won't it? <laughs> I guess so, man. But yeah. the stud won't go in. Oh. If we get a new one, but but it, we need to we need to thread it first, don't we? Yes. Okay. So there you go, people. Yeah. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you that have sent uh, really really nice comments. Really, you know, it's been beautiful. You know, just sharing this experience with you guys because you guys know what this is like. And um, yeah, it's just I, I, I was nearly crying <laughs> five minutes ago <laughs> from the em emotional friggin'. Yeah, because probably because epic. it's been involved with other people, you know what I mean? It's not just been me doing it myself. But I love those flames coming out of that exhaust. And um, vom, vom, vom. yeah, so yeah, at least we'll be able to move the car now with its own uh, steam, even though if it's leaking freaking oil. So we've got to do a bit more work on getting the engine to idle and then to drive it about a little bit. And we're going to share that with you as well. On the next video, um, we'll be, we're going to keep the, the videos probably engine related and performance related, if I can say so. So I'm keen to take this to a rolling road when we fix the oil leak. To if Chris doesn't mind, that's Chris, the guy from the rolling road, to just do a power run and see what what horsepower this will give, if it will give it, and it won't explode. And then we will do possibly the same again with the twin Webers, maybe a, a hotter cam. Of course, this is if the engine will last. So, but yeah, eventually a bigger a two liter version of this engine might go in or even another engine. But uh, for now, it's good. So thank you guys and subscribe for more similar experiences. And um, thank you very much once again. Oh, cheeky, right? But I'm thinking of doing, th this car needs money, right? And I've only got a finite amount of money available. If you guys enjoy this, I'm thinking of 
setting up a donation thing. So All if you donations go, are well, working. it's cheeky, right? Like, but well. I, if I don't ask, I'll definitely won't get. Mm. If you guys think that's a good idea, I'll set one up on the next video. So any of you that fancy seeing more of what we're doing, you can send us a cheeky dollar or a cheeky pound, and uh, it can help towards taking this to the next level whatever that level may be mm. so thank you subscribe guys like please comment we read all the comments and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> you're happy i ain't seen you, I ain't seen you that Gav. Well. it's been an emotional roller coaster uh, is it has it been emotional it's, for it's, you too it's been emotional i didn't know anything about this i didn't know anything but i've i've been with you i've worked with you i've learned as i've gone along and we've taken a hunk of metal that most people would have put in a scrapper yeah and turned it back into a living machine again. yeah man i can't be more happy dude i've got to tell you man your <laughs> your company and your expertise and help that's I'm, I'm not gonna lick your bum mate i'm just gonna say <laughs> it's been fucking lovely man it's good man. yeah it's good right. i can't wait to take it out man all right hang on let's uh all right chaps cavo mano uh, we need to look there, don't we? Yeah, that's where we need to look. Um, over and out. Over Send us way. your messages. Hope you enjoy the little fire up we did. Yes, the engine will run, and she has. Can um, we have a shout out to Paul? Paul Hancock. Mr. Paul Hancock. That's our mate, Paul. He's, he's a silent even, partner. Yeah, he's a silent partner. He's a he silent is. partner. On yeah, this. he's the. What does he do? He uh, he comes down and brings us back to reality when yep. we get too high in the clouds. If you think yeah, about it, yeah. you know what I mean. We've also got a band, you see, the three of us. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're shit, but we still well, enjoy it, don't we're we? We're okay. Yeah, we, we write our own songs, and no one likes them, but we do. So, <laughs> so you may hear them in future episodes playing in the background. Because we own the copyright, we can play what we want. Oh yeah, want, that man. thing with the radio they did the other day, man. Yeah. That was a pain in the bummer, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks, out, thanks for watching.